Happy New Year guys, StuDog here, and today I'm bringing you the top 5 Yu-Gi-Oh cards that should get reprinted in 2017. So I always do a video just like this at the beginning of each year, and surprisingly I get a lot of this stuff correct. I think over the years I've gotten at least 90-95% to 95 of these guesses correct, so why not keep the trend going, and there's a lot of stuff here in 2017 that is overdue for a reprint, so without further ado, let's hop right into it. Going on to the MX Saber Invoker in number 5, so this card has just been skyrocketing lately, and is a a very old card came out of the beginning of 2012 in order of chaos same set where you had those wind-ups and insectors and there's a lot of other secret rears in this set that still have not got a reprint I mean you got stuff like white dragon ninja and wind-up arsenals in Mayo which again in Mayo when that card sees play in the meta it goes up a whole lot same thing with uh, insector exa beetle as well I mean you saw when necros first came out how much that card skyrocketed to like around $30 so I mean it's whenever a secret rear out of order of chaos sees play it goes up a whole lot and with the release of zodiacs coming out in like around a month and a week this card is definitely very key in the deck and has just been going up to around that $50 range as of now and I mean even in previous decks you look at stuff like windups when uh, the Zen Mighty got banned and even other random decks that utilize this card it's just always been a very hard card to get it's always been like $25 at the at the cheapest so I mean MX Saber Invoker it is just about time this card finally gets that reprint it deserves and even some of the other stuff out of Order of Chaos I mean you look at White Dragon Ninja again it's always like a solid $10 card but I mean even though ninjas don't really see that much competitive play you know if they get some broken support and White Dragon Ninja becomes a good card I mean I know the safe zone lock with White Dragon Ninja was really good back in the day but now we get stuff like Castell and cards that could easily get past that but I mean I mean just to think all these secret rares that order of chaos that have not yet been reprinted could easily go up a whole lot I mean we've seen it happen with Zen Mayo become $30 cards and even stuff like Exa Beetle come $30 cards in the past so Invoker for sure definitely the number one card in my mind that needs to get that reprint out of order of chaos going on to number four Cliff Hort Monolith oh my god how did this card not get reprinted in those Megatins in 2015 like really this card it's all it's like I looked a couple days ago it was 50 now it's back down to around 35 to 40 but seriously I mean a, a very expensive card was great and please I mean back in the towers turbo I think you needed like two or three to even play the deck and this card was so much money and then even in the uh, the metaphos deck builds I see running around there's some decks that actually play this card so I mean I think it's just a great time because I mean this card doesn't see nearly as much play as it did but yet it's still super expensive 35 to 40 dollars so I think 2017 is a great year for monolith to finally get that reprint it desperately deserves so there is the number three going on or number four going on to number three we got pot of desires of course one of the most just generic busted cards that everyone plays here in 2016 like one of the most well it was like the most expensive card released in 2016 you look at stuff like solemn strike pot of desires was both like solid 70 dollar cards at their prime i mean pot of desires still like a 70 to 80 dollar card right now that a lot of people are just running three of and stuff like paleozoics abcs and you know pretty much almost everything that is tier one in the current moment right now you look at all those ycs deck lists it's always like two to three pot of desires most of the time three i mean getting away with two is nice and all but i mean again pot of desires wouldn't be surprised if this card gets limited i don't think kunami would actually ban this card yet but i mean again it's kunami anything could happen i could easily see this card not getting hit on the next ban list and yeah there you go pot of desire is still an extremely expensive card so i mean we've had megatins in 2014 all the way up to 2016 so i mean if they keep on the megatin train going they definitely want to make their money put in pot of desires in that megatin set to make their money and sell those megatins like they always did so i mean pot of desires again one of the most just generic busted expensive like extremely expensive cards released at 2016 so desperately I would think it deserves a reprint at least after a few months in the 2017 um, year but probably will not happen probably won't get a reprint to like the mega tens or heck if they even want to ban it which I don't know why they would ban this card when there's just so much money to be made even if they reprint and something like a gold series be one of the most sought after cards in the gold series to get I mean you've seen that happen with Lavarbal chain and stuff like giant hand and previous gold series where even the gold rares are $25 I mean heck Digusto Emerald out of like 
the premium gold infinite gold is still like a solid twenty dollar card so i mean yeah they get they have a lot of money to make with pre or future reprints of pot of desire so i don't know why kunami would ban this card just for the money that could be made so that's number three going on to number two cyframe lord omega dear lord so one of the most busted level eight synchros generic I mean, you see decks just made to spam three of these turn one and just lock your opponent out of the entire game. I mean, uh, it, it's so annoying. <laughs> like, this card is just $50. Always $50. Even though, like, none of the tier one decks at the current moment are really even playing this card, it's still sitting fine at $48 to $50 every single time you look. And it's, like, it, it's super short printed out of the set, extremely hard to pull, and most of the time, if you play this card you're gonna need like multiples of it I mean again it's just a solid level 8 synchro if you just want to play like a synchro deck I mean you obviously want to have at least one of these and that's like ah oh, fifty dollars to blow on you know a synchro but <laughs> uh, again I mean if you want to play like a I know that dark synchro deck I don't see a lot of people play that anymore but that dark synchro deck that top that one regional I caught a few months ago was playing like three of these and I was like oh the deck looks really fun but I mean who wants to waste $150 in a play set of Omegas this this card desperately needs a reprint ASAP and seriously I've had so many people complain or I've just heard so many people complain like why is this card still so much money and I mean it's just very unfortunate and I think 2017 has to be the year well where Omega gets a reprint but going on to number one if you had not guessed it yet, oh my dear lord, this card, Minerva, not the tuner one, the exceed one. My god, this card needs a reprint ASAP. One of the most busted prize cards. I mean, Giant Hand was a great prize card, but this card right here, it's like, who's going to waste $1,000 just to, you know, play that Lightsworn deck? I mean, you saw Lightsworn's top go to the finals of a YCS for like the first time in a long time and just to think how much more people would play Light Swarms back at those YCS's and regionals if they had Minervas but who in God's given world is gonna pay a thousand dollars for one Yu-Gi-Oh card I mean heck you, you some of the builds even play two of this card I mean I guess you could get away with one on personally in my Light Swarm build I play two because I mean it's just such a good card I mean you can go literally so plus I mean if you mill something like multiple wolves and Felice, you just draw two cards for the price of nothing and then you just summon the wolf and you go like plus three and plus even if you like destroy the card or something I think even if you saw the morning this card you get the graveyard effect where you can just mill three cards and hey if you just happen to mill three lights and just destroy like two to three cards on your opponent's side of the field for the price of literally nothing just an amazing Asig monster it's not even like generic or it's not even specific for lights ones it's a generic card just two level four monsters hey just go into Minerva mill three it's like a Dante for rank four is pretty much but I mean it's just so hard to get and I mean uh, we were really hoping in 2016 this card would get that reprint but I think it's just one year off you saw giant hand get reprinted in the premium gold infinite gold so hopefully in 2017 like maybe in a future gold series they can finally give us the Minerva reprint that we have just been wanting for so long so anyway that has been the video Top 5 cards, in my opinion, that deserve that reprint in 2017. Leave in the comments what cards you want to see reprinted this year. I know there's a, just a lot of stuff, so... Anyway, thank you all for watching this video. As always, press that subscribe button if you have not already. And until next time, this has been Stu Dog, and I'm signing out. Hey, lights out.